We heard horses on New Year's Eve walking down my Brooklyn street. And I saw fireworks in your eyes. I was falling, falling, falling one year ago at this time. Now I'm trying, trying, trying to get back my mind. I'll take my photographs, wrap them in bubble wrap. I'm leaving for the weekend, or maybe for the year. I'll secure all my edges, all the fragile remarks that were taken the wrong way before I go leaving for the year. Taken the wrong way. Hey, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Uh, welcome or welcome back. This week I will be taking a slight detour away from bus converting and uh, we're going to be finishing up the uh, solar roof rack for Patrick's uh, truck. So that'll be kind of fun. We get to make sparks and uh, do all kinds of manly things like that. So uh, stay tuned. All right, well, I totally don't know what I'm doing, but <laughs> what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to put this leg on here. You see, I leaned it up against the building there at the correct angle, I hope. And I got these magnets in place here. And it's all at the correct angle, I hope, and uh, I'm going to spot weld that together. So I'm going to weld the two legs on the two rails, and then put the rails on the truck, and make sure that the distance is correct to the top. And if it's not, I don't know. I know why you watch this channel. It's to learn how not to do things. Here's another tip for you. This is a Harbor Freight self-darkening helmet welding helmet and this is a Harbor Freight former self-darkening helmet. Now apparently there is a battery inside here and I can take it apart and unsolder the old battery and put a new one in which I will do but I I need to get this done now. I'm in, in the middle of this. I wanted a second helmet anyway. So um, the thing to do to do is put the helmet on and look at something bright and make sure that it self-darkens before you just start welding with it because I just started welding with it and it didn't work and it's not the end of the world but it's like when you those old cameras with a flash and you take a picture and it makes your eyes really glary and that's what happens so next time I will um, check it first and make sure it is darkening before I try welding with it for him now Dan if you're watching come on man that is not a bad weld, eh? We ground it down for an Oregon Hills hippie. Oh, it's probably hot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let me burn my finger for you. Yeah. Oh, there oh. it is. That's not bad, huh? Solid metal. Yeah. There's our mock-up with the last two legs. That piece of wood is the length of the, the lumber rack. The width. The width. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, and, and here's, here's the one, right? You aren't going to get your head necessarily. You to yeah, you got quite a bit of headroom if you want to put seats under there. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay. Well, we're getting there. We are manly men making sparks and using hoists. We kind of made a makeshift frame right here. Hold the uh, stuff in place. And then we're going to hoist this guy over there with the hoist. It'll be really cool. You'll see it. Stay tuned. Alright. 
So here it is, it's all welded. Made this frame, we put all these braces, cross braces. Put this on here at right angles and then measured the distance from either side because this isn't plumb, these are off at an angle. And then measured the corners first and then uh, it suddenly all just kind of fell together, we hope. Some of the existing welds on this thing were really pretty bad. Like that one there. We inherited that. That's not one of my welds. That's one of my welds. That's not one. Look at that. Whoever made this thing did a pretty lousy job. Even worse than I even worse than me. That's pretty bad, eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, hope you had as much fun as I did, um, and thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Later.